Hello Internet, it is I, the Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to the channel, part 69. Yes, that is right, ladies and gentlemen. We have finally reached the funny number, the Internet's favorite number, everyone's favorite number. And I couldn't be more proud of achieving it, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels great. And also, I know I've said this several times throughout the course of this series, but I really thought this series was over. And I, I really mean it this time. After part 68, I was thinking, okay, movies are gonna come out on a regular basis. There's gonna be no real reason to, to delay movies anymore. Things should be fine. And for a little while, that's what it looked like. But I was wrong, like as always, <laughs> I was wrong. Because we have I think four movies to talk about. One one of them obviously got delayed. Another one not only got delayed, but got sent to Disney Plus. And the other two were added on to the calendar for next year, not this year, next. So let's talk about the big movie. The movie we're, we're all waiting for, apparently. Hotel Transylvania Transformania. I still think it's a stupid name. Hotel Transylvania 4. That's what I'm calling it. It was supposed to come out next month. Like July 23rd. It was real close. It had it had a trailer. It had posters. It was ready to go. But Sony had cold feet and said, nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Instead, we're going to push it away from summer. And we're going back to where Hotel Transylvania originally started from. Fall. So instead of July 23rd, it's now coming out October 1st. So again, another another movie not that's not coming out this summer, which makes my summer 2021 prediction video even more outdated than it already was. And it was already super outdated, but this just adds to that. So... Yeah, it's now coming out October 1st. But you want to know what else is coming out October 1st? Adam's Family 2. The 2019 movie. Yeah. So, Hotel Transylvania 4 and Adam's Family 2 are now set to come out on the exact same day. And that's a huge problem. Because both movies, well, are spooky themed. Well... Hotel Transylvania is more comedic, is more comedy based, and Adam's Family is a tad more spooky based. But still, it's the same thing. If these two movies come out the same day, they're going to eat each other. They're going to devour each other. They're going to cannibalize each other. And that won't help either movie. So I don't expect Hotel, Trans Hotel Transylvania 4 to keep this new date. I expect it to move somewhere else, or Adam's Family 2 moves. Someone's going to move. Now, the question is why? Why did this happen? Well, it's because of Peter Rabbit 2, partially. Because, you know, Sony, as I've said the entire Cancel series, Sony was extremely protective of Peter Rabbit 2. So much. They delayed it so many times. I had to cover it so many times. And it finally came out last weekend, and it bombed. It was a dud. It did way worse than the first. So I guess, you know, because of that, Sony lost a lot of confidence and decided to push it back to a time where, you know, things should be better, far better than they are now. They should be a lot more healthy box office-wise. So, yeah, that's what happened to Hotel Transylvania Transformania. Now coming out October. Which is kind of weird because the first two came out late September, but considering this year Venom 2 is coming out late September, I don't blame them for not taking that date. <laughs> so, yeah, all right, the next two movies, all from Sony, by the way. So, three fourths of this video is gonna be Sony. So, just telling you now. And neither of these movies have been delayed. Well, one of them had its release date changed from its already uh, new release date, but these two movies are relatively new. 
relatively new in the grand scheme of things. We've never talked about them before. And they are Bullet Train and Oh Hell No for next year. So first there's the Jack Black <coughs> Jack Black Ice Cube comedy Oh Hell No. It was supposed to come out July 1st, but then they changed it very quickly uh, to June 17th. So it's now a mid-June movie instead of coming out 4th of July weekend. Now 4th of July can be kind of a mixed bag depending on when 4th of July takes place. If it's midweek, then it's usually fine. But if it's like on the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, that's a death sentence. Automatic death sentence. So and considering I don't even know when it's, it's, it's the 17th of Friday. I think it is. No, that's a Monday, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, next year's a Monday. So, yeah, and I probably had to deal with a lot of several movies. Uh, yeah, there's Shotgun Wedding, and then there's Minions Rise of Gru. It's a little, a little too much for, oh, hell no, apparently. And they decide to move it to a safer date, although it is going up against Lightyear, you know, the Buzz Lightyear origin story that we all asked for, apparently. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what happened to Oh Hell No. And now for a non-summer movie, we got Bullet Train from uh, David Leach. Not David Leach, David Lech, whatever. And it stars Brad Pitt, Joey King, uh, Michael Shen, Aaron Taylor Johnson, blah, 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 Sandra Bullock. Pretty stellar cast. But what's important, what's really important, is that it's going up against the most anticipated movie of next year. Oh yes, folks, we are talking about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Both of these movies are coming out April 8th. So it's gonna be a big day for movie going. And which one will win? Sonic 2, obviously, has a lot more going for it. But I mean, if Bullet Train looks great, then it might stand a chance. But as of right now, my money's on Sonic 2. So, and there's also another movie called The North Man, but I don't think it's going to make any any buzz, like any uh, impact in the grand scheme of things. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's for 2022. Now for the final movie coming out this year. Well, it's not even a movie, it's a documentary. It's uh, Peter Jackson's The Beatles Get Back. It was supposed to come out this August, August 27th. That was the plan, but they've changed that. And now it's going to go to Disney Plus. But not only that, it's going to have a three-day debut. Because this thing is six hours. This whole thing is six hours, which is just madness. <laughs> I know documentaries can be long, but goddamn, six hours? That's longer than the Snyder Cut. <laughs> like, geez, that, that's just rough. You'd really have to be a Beatles fanatic in order to, you know, sit through you know, six hours of this. Well, I guess with the three-day opening, it makes it a bit easier, you know, two hours every day instead of just, you know, <laughs> making it like a whole six-hour thing, which nobody would want to watch willingly. But... Yeah. So for any of you interested in this, you now gotta wait three more months and you gotta get a Disney Plus account. So go do that. And that's it. Yeah, no, it wasn't super exciting. Like the only main movie that I know people would truly care about was Hotel Transylvania 4. I know some people on the internet care about it, but that moved away. Other than that, it was pretty lackluster. But now the question is, uh, what will happen next? I mean, June's set. July is pretty much set at this point. Minus Hotel Transylvania 4. Uh, August. I don't know about all these movies come out August 20th. That might be a problem. Oh, yeah, and the fact that Hotel Transylvania's new date, which is October 1st, that might be a serious issue. So I can see that movie again, or... Adam's Family 2 moving 
but I don't see that moving. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about all these October 22nd movies. The rest of the calendar looks okay-ish. Uh, next year, there's a, not only are there several open spaces, but there's a lot of movies coming out on certain dates, which could be very problematic for the box office. So some of these movies will likely change dates in order to make things easier for everybody else. But yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos like this? I got a playlist on the homepage full of all previous canceled episodes I made, including this one. There's now 69, and it's basically going over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't. And you know, a lot of these movies I've talked about. Are now finally coming out thankfully but some are some haven't yet so yeah if you want to just you know check to see how all these movies are doing you can go right ahead there's also box office predictions where i go over the box office where i predict box office for movies i just did hitman's wife's bodyguard earlier this week i could have done luca if disney then decided to do the whole disney plus thing with it but at least you didn't have to pay $30 to watch it. And I did see Luca. I thought it was okay. Definitely wasn't one of Pixar's best. Or it was pretty lightweight for a Pixar movie. But it wasn't bad. But yeah. Uh, so after him and his wife's bodyguard. Next week is the big one. The big, big, big test. F9. The Fast Saga. Will this movie truly bring back the blockbuster even more than Quiet Place 2? We'll have to see. So if you want to, you know, check out my Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard prediction video and all the other prediction videos I made for 2019, 2020, and this year, you can go right ahead. There's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. Uh, the, the June recap will come out first thing in July. But if you want to check out AMI past recap videos, you can go right ahead and yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.